Hello everybody, it's meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you. Drop a comment below and tell me, what's your favorite season? Around the corner? Fall is coming. But your forecast for Tuesday is what you need now and that's what we're going to go over right now. Here. A Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. Thanks for your trust in watching Hutch's weather. For all of your weather information, here's what's going on. Thunderstorm watch in parts of Nebraska tonight and a trailing front that's kind of stalled out here across the region uh, from central Minnesota down into central parts of southern South Dakota and Nebraska. So the active and volatile weather there, very quiet here in our neck of the woods heading into your evening, and that trend is likely going to continue. Right to your hour-by-hour -hour forecast so you don't miss any details and get the information you need to plan your evening. Showers and thunderstorms along the south. South Dakota, Nebraska border stay there. We're going to be extremely quiet all night and into the morning hours. We could see some of this moisture in our southern and central North Dakota counties. So anywhere from Sioux County on down towards Emmons County, McIntosh County, you could see some showers and thunder showers. But the brunt of this will be pushing through Sioux Falls, Sioux City, and southwestern parts of Minnesota heading into the early morning hours on our Wednesday. Look at this. Any chance of rain as we go through midday will be in in the southern portion of North Dakota, maybe a spit or drizzle drop here or there up north, isolated thunder there. For the rest of us, it does look like we're going to have some quieter conditions for the day. And once again, not quite as warm with the increasing clouds down south, we'll have our chance of showers increasing. Southern Minnesota, maybe a strong storm there. Out to the west, Bismarck down to Rapid City, maybe some storms there. Look at this thing splitting like the Nile as we go through our forecast day on Wednesday. Then after that, showers and thunderstorms persist with a stalled out low pressure system here and here, bringing rain showers to the south, very shh, quiet to the north, and that's the way things are looking as we go through. Our increasing chance of rain comes Fargo and uh, up the Highway 200 corridor, Interstate 94 corridor, as we head into your Thursday time frame. The best chance of rain then, late Wednesday night, Thursday, and into Friday, the way things are looking on your extended forecast. So that's what we have going on with that. Let's take a look at our current conditions out there as you head to, through what your plans are going to be for this night. Now, your temperatures right now are looking pretty hot, but take a look at the thunderstorms blasting across the state line out there. Active tornado warnings have been cited out in those areas as well. For us, we're quiet. We have a Lake Sakakawea shower thunderstorm not far from Garrison uh, out there along that Mercer County line with the uh, McLean County line area. Uh, Glendive, Montana, out to the west, we're seeing a few storms outside of Mile City and to the north as well as uh, Forsyth and south towards Coal Strip. That's about it. So quiet weather right now with those air temperatures that are pretty cozy, I guess. You could say 86 degrees right now in the FM area. We talked about 91 in Minneapolis. Look where you're at. Woo! You're one degree warmer than 90. So 79 in Minot, 79 up in War Road right now. With Bemidji, let's zoom in a little bit so we can get you covered here in Lakes Country. How about 82 Detroit Lakes, Faustin 82, Fergus Falls 84. We have a real heat out here in the Brainerd Lakes area heading into your evening. So it will be hot. It looks to be dry for most of us with quiet and clear skies across the region on the satellite. Things are looking on the up and up for most of us. But do you see this? And do you see what I see? This little gray stuff right there is some smoke in the atmosphere that's sneaking down from the north. Is it down at the surface? As we take a quick peek at that, let's go ahead and look at what that gives for our forecast for smoke here as we go through the evening. Right now, things are looking to be fairly quiet with the best chance of smoke in Montana near the surface. So what we're seeing on the satellite there, likely some deep or higher off the ground smoke. So as we take a look at the uh, full layer of the atmosphere and where the smoke is, it lands and matches up ideally with what we're seeing on that satellite. That's a look at your weather. Remember, hutchesweather.com anytime, anywhere for the very latest weather information that you have. And I got to tell you, things are looking pretty good for your Tuesday night. So get out and enjoy. Cooler weather's on the way. I'll have full details coming up right here. You're watching Hutch's Weather. Thanks for following on Facebook, for subscribing on YouTube. And we'll talk again here a little later tonight.